Hello, everybody, and welcome to this evening's live stream. I am talking tonight about 20 of the worst designs on Merch by Amazon that have sold. I am wanting to bring this video to you today because uh, I get the opportunity as a content creator and a, a teacher sort of in the realm of merch to see designs that people have shared and I, I'm not sharing any of the designs that have been privately shared with me, but I see some of the same problems come up. And so I thought I would share 20 of the worst designs on merch that have actually sold. So <laughs> let me say, hey, in the chat real quick. Um, <laughs> and we'll get started. Okay. So I want, before I get started, though, I wanted to share over here on my, um, down underneath the video, I have listed, um, if you're interested in getting started on Printful or by Merch, uh, um, sorry, the chat's throwing me off for a second, on Printful and Etsy, I have my links down here. I've also linked um, some of my Merch shirts. I've created this down here where it says Merch shirts. These are some of mine that we've created in videos. Um, so I found a way to, do, to share that through Amazon Influencer. And then I've also linked all of these worst shirts down there too if you wanted to come back and look at them again. So let's get started. Pardon me. Okay, hello, hello. So yeah, we're gonna go through these shirts and we're gonna um, take a look at why they're so bad. And again, this is all opinion. Okay, this is my opinion. Um, what's so wrong with them and what could be better about them? So let's get started. Oh, and before I yeah, j totally jump in, go down there and hit the thumbs up button. All right, so here is one design that has sold. Um, this is this is cowgirl life. Now the problem that I have with this design is that it the line design is kind of hard to, to read, and then the font is is small as well. So it, it could be better, it could be bigger, and then possibly the font maybe could be curved or done something a little bit different with to make it a little more easy to read. Uh, and then again, with the title, um, probably finding, I've used, or the person has used cowgirl three times in their title. So maybe finding another word like rodeo or something else to go in there to um, make that shirt more findable if they were going to go ahead and change the title on this shirt. Hello, hello. <laughs> Okay, next up is a shirt, um, just without even zooming in on it, the problem I have with this is that some of the font is so tiny, you can't even read it. So when you see a shirt or when you're designing a shirt, you know, make sure that the font is readable, unless it's something that you're wanting people to get up close and, and look at the shirt, that's the whole point. Uh, but the, the font, especially down here, when I zoom in on it, sure, you can see it, it says you got this but it's kind of hard to make out from a distance. And so if you're wanting, unless you're wanting somebody to come up and try to read your shirt like so, uh, make sure that the font is a bit bigger. And then same thing um, with the title. Mm, maybe it's okay. Workout, fighter, motivation, trying to get some more keywords in there. How'd, how'd the person do down here? So maybe adding some more um, workout type things or motivational type comments down to the to the description as well okay <laughs> don't hear the frowny face Jeff okay so next one it kind of goes along with the cowgirl the the design is like an open work type design like it would have been a almost like a coloring book but has been turned yellow and so it's I don't know it's just not awesome and pardon me and with the certain color choices, it maybe doesn't look so great. So <clears throat> while centaurs are awesome and cool, this shirt probably could have could have been better. Um, and but maybe the person didn't have a whole lot of design skill to add depth to their picture. So there's that. And again, these are shirts that have sold on Amazon. Okay, next. Again, same deal. It's really hard to make this shirt out. The lines are so thin. You can kind of see what it is. I mean, perhaps if you like that um, kind of just, I mean, it's almost a distressed look, but it's really hard to make out. The lines, you know, are thin and probably could be 
thicker to make it cooler and more vibrant uh, on the shirt. So there's that one. Am I judging? <laughs> Wait till the end and you'll see. <laughs> um, Gail says I'm blank with keywords sometimes. You have no feet, oh no. Refresh, refresh. Okay, so this shirt, now this one automatically, when you see it, it screams um, word swag. Word swag has got very specific templates. So now when, when a, a, a word swag type shirt pops up, you can spot it like that because there are certain um, templates and fonts and color schemes that, that can be done there pretty easily. Um, while, and while the, while the quote here is cute, you can test my hardness if I can test your cleavage. It's a cute shirt. It's kind of hard to read. You know, the lines of text are really close together. And I hope none of my shirts show up. So he says, no, <laughs> no, no, they won't. Don't worry about it. Um, it's, it is kind of hard to read because they are, I think kerning is maybe the word, like, can you kern the lines? Is that right? So, <clears throat> so again, this shirt has sold, but it could be better. Okay. Next up is this one. <laughs> oh dear. So the problem I have with this shirt is the styling of the heart and the arrow are totally different. Like the graphic styles are, what is the number, uh, number of sales in each shirt? That I would have to do some, some figuring on. I mean, we could look down at the uh, sales rank if they're showing up. Like this one, sales rank. 12 million. So yeah, it hasn't sold a ton, but it's sold. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you can see like the, the, the graphic styling of the arrow, um, is much thicker than the, the line type drawing of this heart. So yeah, but Hey, it's sold. And also like my point of doing this is if you think that your designs are bad, they can still sell. So like this one has got a real, a lot of really good, keywords, which probably helped it to be found, medical, anatomical, heart, arrow, cardiologist, heart doctor. The only thing I don't see here, oh no, I do see Valentine's Day, because, you know, it's a heart with the, with the arrow, like a Cupid's arrow, right? Okay, so next design, this one is, mm, it could be worse, I got something stuck in my mouth, and it's not my tongue. Um, so yeah, this, uh, I think, uh, I don't know. So the hammerhead's cool. And then just like hammerhead across, maybe if it was curved or if it was going along with the the shark, maybe if there was some some angle. Some people like this. No, it's true. It's true. And this is totally um, perspective. So yeah, it's totally perspective. Pardon me. Okay. So um, again, this one has sold, and I, I don't know. Maybe it looks better on gray. It looks kind of okay on gray. But I think maybe it's the font that that I I'm not caring for, or maybe. I don't know. So there's that one. Again, keywording, shark, 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 shirt. See, maybe t-shirt or t up here. Um, <laughs> hang on in the chat. <laughs> so um, yeah, moving forward. Again, this one probably could use a few more keywords um, down there. Okay, next shirt. Oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> this one has got, it's a tree hugger shirt. So I'm guessing this is a tree and then it says tree hugger up here. And yeah, <laughs> it has sold, but honestly the tree kind of looks like broccoli. So that's, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not even sure. Maybe it looks good on that coat. Mm, no, um, I don't even know what to say about this. Yeah, <laughs> mind you if it's all your fault because I learned for you, Dan Tony says. These are, yeah, but this one seems to have some good keywords, you know, deforestation and liberals, living trees, Earth Day, hiking, you know, arborist. So it's got some good keywords. So I think that maybe the keywording has helped this shirt um, to be found. So, <laughs> all right, next up, this one. All right, this one's got some problems. This one is a cat, and, and you know you know me, I love funky, funky cells, right? Um, but, but grammatically, or spelling, like litter boxes is two separate words, so it should be litter boxes, 
but litter boxes rule shirt has sold and there you have it i mean litter boxes rule <laughs> so again if you see any of these shirts and you're you're saying man i like that shirt i, I have a link down below with all the worst shirts um connected in there so if you want to go back and look at them litter boxes rule y'all <laughs> Um, again, keywording could, you know, the, the person could add some more. I don't see anything down here about crazy cat lady or cat lovers or things like that. Let's see what the sales rank is. It's not showing up, but this one has sold. So, all right. Next, we have, this is, this is a shirt with a bird on it. Black breasted game hen shirt, chicken love tea. So, there you have it. Maybe it could be bigger, and it's a scrawny looking bird, but I guess somebody who raises this kind of bird likes. Anyway, um, but but again, the keywording is, it looks pretty good. There's lots of good keywords for, you know, backyard chicken farmer, chicken whisperer, that kind of thing, crazy chicken lady, homesteading. So sometimes keywording can really get your shirts found. Again, <laughs> you kind of like that one, somebody says, again, I think if it was made bigger, um, but yeah. <laughs> All right, next up, this one's actually not that bad. The problem I have with it is that the 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 filter for this flag doesn't go all the way to the edges of the book. Maybe it's just me being picky. Um, uh, oh yeah, Melissa, refresh. There's a, there's a video going on. So uh, this one's actually not too too bad. But I was just, I think being. Um, picky about the, the filter not filtering all the way, you know? So there's that. Um, again, lots of good keywords. Uh, book lover, open book, bookworm, librarian, that kind of thing. So, okay, that's not the worst, but okay. <laughs> Could have found a pretty, oh, the chicken, right? Okay, so here's one. This one says, oh dear, I messed up, click back on it, okay. Aren't you going to unwrap your present? Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I like the font very much. I think the going to and unwrap yours kind of like clunky the way it's arranged in there. <laughs> that chicken needs to be fed, Sunny says, right? Um, so, yeah, the book one, the book one is not too bad. And again, I, I feel like the bow on here doesn't really go, or maybe the font, something doesn't fit, right? You know, the font, Needs to be a different color, a different style. But yeah, I, I just am not crazy about this one. All right. Oh, it looks like there's a, oh yeah, there is, there's a border. There's a border on the font here, which, and then there's no matching kind of border on the bow. All right, all right, moving on. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, this one, uh, the, the line up top is kind of hard to read unless you get up close. It says, you can't see me. I'm ghosting you. So that's a whole, you know, what ghosting is where they're pretend like they drop you and then they don't return phone calls or things like that, right? So I think that's, you know, just like a novelty funny shirt. But I, I don't think I like the font with the, what do you call that? Where it's got the, mm, I can't think of what it's called. You know, the bars across the tops and bottoms of all the, of the letters. So I'm not crazy about this one. And, but let's see what's made it sell. Um, yeah, I don't know. Perfect gag gift. Yeah, novelty, ghosting. Mm, yeah, so mm, I don't know why, but it's old. Okay. Oh, did I already do this one? I feel like I did this one. Oh, well, yep, same deal. Tiny, tiny, and then the font is kind of hard to read that you got this down there. Wasn't that one of the first ones? Did we do that one? Yeah, we did. Okay. Okay, we did that one, we did that one. Okay, it might be less than 20 now. Okay, next. <clears throat> All right, so this one, I mean, I like the idea of it. Come at me, bro, and then there's a spider. But the problem is this spider, um, are these shirts your opinion? No, these are, yeah, these are totally my opinion. Absolutely, <laughs> Nick. Um, so yeah, th this, this one, the idea of it's cool, but the rainbowing on this spider, like you lose it, right? So when you back away, you're like, what is that? I can't really see. There's this part of a spider. And then it's like, okay, maybe I will come at you because you're not a full spider. 
<laughs> maybe it would have but i don't know that it would have worked on a lighter colored shirt because then the lighter colors would have gotten lost too right so yeah um <clears throat> and again not not a whole lot of keywording going on here so but it's still sold so cool all right this is where we get if you've been watching me for a while this is where we get interesting i guess so this shirt says first lady decoy um if you remember when the there was that what was it the conspiracy theory that melania trump had a stand-in so i think what i i'm not loving about this shirt is that the font is not super duper clear it's okay but it's not really super clear um it's got a lot of great keywords melania conspiracy president republican or democrat novelty flotus potus shirt um the outline is white or maybe it needs a white outline i don't know if you guys are behind me on the on the chat so yeah it's not an amazing shirt not an amazing design but it has sold let's see if the rank is showing up five million so yeah it's sold maybe two maybe two um there you have it <laughs> Hey, that looks like one of my, oh, no. <laughs> okay, next up, this is a eyeball, and it says, I see you. So this shirt, that's it, right? And it's on the back, right? And that's no front. There's no front on this shirt. This is just the back, and it's the eyeball, like the eyes of Texas, and then see you. Um, so yeah, just no comment. <laughs> There's no more comments to be made there. Lots of good keywords. Teachers, elementary school, junior high, um, etc., etc. <laughs> oh, Mitch. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, oh, it's same shirt, but different. So same back, but this one's got a front. So it says, even when my back is turned, I see you. Right? So, yeah, there, it's trying to be clever, but not an awesome design for sure. Um, but again, it has sold. Uh, so I think maybe if the font was different on the front, maybe less of the curvature. On I don't know what this font is called. Um, it maybe would be better. But again, the great keywords make it um, probably findable. If you do something on the back, does it show up as blank in the search? I don't. Um, no, I don't think so. Because this one is only on the back, so it's showing just the back of the shirt. And then this one is front and back, so it it's showing the front. I think the front is what shows up, which makes it even more challenging. Shh, Nevada. <laughs> okay, this one, maybe they bought their own shirt. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so this one, I'm just in a subjunctive mood. First of all, you've got a very narrow audience for this shirt. Second of all, the font is so thin, it's kind of hard to read, especially when you look at these thumbnails down here. You can barely see the font, it's so tiny, right? So maybe a bolder font, or maybe they were thinking this looked more literary. I don't know. So, yeah. Uh, grammar police down there, subjunctive, pragmatic professor. Okay, so we've got, I'm just trying to think who's searching prep. I need a shirt for my pragmatic professor. You know, I, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But again, so let's see if the ranking is showing up down here. Oh, it's not. Okay. All right. So there's that one. Oh, really? Oh, I lost one. This was faster than I thought it would be. Okay. The next one is showing us. Sometimes mashups work and sometimes they're just weird. All right. So here we've got the problem I've got with this mashup is. Look at, okay, so the, the, the fishtail has got this thick black border, and then this kitten has got nothing. No, no bordering on the cat at all. So, um, yeah, I think that's what I, I think if the cat, or either the fish need, the fishtail needs to lose the border, or the cat needs to gain the border, or maybe it's one of those mashups, it's like, I don't even care. I don't even care. Um, so, yeah, but it's got some good... It's got some good keywords, cats, mermaids, cat lover, mashup, blah, 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 um, on there. No, I know I had some more shirts pulled up, but I don't know what happened to them. Okay, I saved some of these towards the end because, as you guys may have already guessed, some of these are shirts that I made in videos along with us um, that we've done together. So 
all of these shirts, I know some people are worried <laughs> about the their shirts popping up. All of the shirts that you saw here tonight were my shirts. <laughs> they were all some of the shirts I've made from the beginning of time that have sold. And I just wanted to share um, what are some of the things that I've sold from early on in my merch times, like the cowgirl life and the never give up shirt to show that that we all start somewhere and that even shirts that are not, you know, looking back, you you don't think you're super awesome, can still sell and still get your foot in the door and still get you started uh, moving up in the merch world. I, would, I wouldn't dream of pulling up random people's shirts and picking them apart. That would be so horrible. But I definitely wanted to share some shorts that could have been better and share ways to make them better. Tony's like, I knew it. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, and I, I thought I had my other catfish shirt up here, but I didn't, I didn't share that. No, I, uh, I may have to go pull, I'm going to pull them up because, oh my gosh. You know what? I think I shared it. Here we go. If you look down below in where it says my shirts and it says merch shirts, let me click on it. Let me click back so you can see. <laughs> so when you come down here and you click merch shirts, and it's going to pull up an Amazon page that has some of the shirts like I've, we've done in the videos. And, and some of them are horrible. Okay, the, the litter boxes rules, and one of my boys did. So I didn't correct their grammar. I didn't correct their stuff uh, because I didn't want to take their creativity away. But I think in retrospect, retrospectively, I probably should have said, hey, guys, um, litter boxes is two words. So that might help your shirt so better. Um, so, yeah, I, I wanted to share some of the shirts that, I've made in the past, and on on this, some of these shirts on the merch uh, list down below are ones I made in videos, some of them, now I don't have all my shirts on here, but I have some, so you kind of get an idea of, of some of the different things. Oh, here we go. So yeah, here, here, here we go. Again, shirts that have sold. This is a, a hot dog mermaid that says, don't ask. And the important thing is that they sold, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Old school says my first shirts are terrible, but that they sold. And looking back, you, oh yeah, that's exactly, yeah. The subjunctive mood video, subjunctive mood shirt is a video that got me started. And you know, and, and truly that shirt sold. I didn't, I didn't buy it. Okay, so yeah, if you're wanting, and I'll probably add some shirts because I do get questions sometimes, like, oh, I'd like to see your shirts. So um, I have some of them on here. Some we've done in videos, like the pickle menorah. It's a classic, right? Poop nado. Um, which is one of my boys shirts as well So yeah motorboating that's on there all the good classics are on there um, and so if you're interested in seeing Some of the 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 shirt designs or maybe how I chose to title and keyword shirts then definitely uh, go check that out over there so <laughs> Again, I was trying to save it for the end to, to, to the big reveal. Yeah, they're all my shirts I wouldn't um, pick on anybody else's shirt. So um, yeah, definitely, if you're interested, go down there and check those out. I do have my, my merch Patreon down there. I've changed it up a bit. Um, on the $5 level a month, I share my top-selling design for the month. And you know, so you, and I, I talk about how I chose the design or how I designed it, and then my keywording and process and all that. Um, and then the $10 level, I help with keywording. So there's a few options out there, um, but I'm around if you need help. Because if I can do it with some of these designs that I shared, anybody can do it. Trust me. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for, for coming to hang out this evening. Definitely leave me a comment down below. Even if you're here, uh, let me know that you came by to say see me or see the, sh the video and say hey. Uh, because I, I always read the comments and I am still... Um, sorry, my pancake's meowing at me. Um, I still comment or re re respond to everybody who leaves me comments in the videos. So thanks so much, you guys, for coming to hang out. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Bye, everybody.